Hey guys, so my name is Annabelle and today I wanted to talk about manifesting and creating your dream life or manifesting your um, dream car, whatever it is that you really want in your life right now. So, this is an advice video. So we're going to start with journaling because that's probably one of my favorite topics. So I started journaling back in... 2014 and I've been journaling ever since. I have three journals, two smaller or four. Four and four journals, two bigger ones, two smaller ones. I have this journal that I'm working through and was working through up until I started my forest therapy work, where then I have all this, which I would consider um, a reflection of, I'd say the majority of it is somewhat of a journal. And so within that, I'm able to reflect on various situations, various experiences, various feelings, and it really gives you the space to say whatever it is that you want to say. It is such a great place to start reflecting on your own life and where you've, you've come from and then plan where you're going. I've probably looked back at these journals maybe five, four, four times in the past um, three years and it is so helpful especially when you have those moments where you're like so in the moment and really wanting to put on the page whatever it is you're feeling or the experience you just had. It's so important to to journal and give yourself the space to do that. Now I understand not everyone likes journaling and that's not a way that you really want to express yourself or to try and manifest what it is that you want. There are many other ways to do that. But there is, I have to say, even if you don't like writing, I still would suggest at least making lists of the things that you want and writing next to it or below it why you want them. You know, you don't have to write paragraphs upon paragraphs as to why you want a tiny house. Maybe just say you want a tiny house and then why you want it. You want it because it'll save you money or it'll give you a place to, to a more affordable place to stay, a place to call your home, whatever the reason is. But it's super important to at least make a concrete list of what you want and why you want it. And you have to add that second part of why you want it. You can't just say just because. Um, because you're really then not grounding what you want in any real, real idea or real, I don't know. There's no substance there. It's like, oh yeah, sure, I want, I want, I don't know, what do I want? <laughs> I want this this cool jacket or something. It's like, why you want it? I don't really know. I just want it. It's like, no, I want it because it's supposed to be super warm and it's made of sustainable materials and it's um, an ethical company and I want to support the ethical company. Whatever it is, it's important to write why. Another way of manifesting and creating that dream life is to make vision boards. Um, so I have one behind me, and behind this is, uh, there's four more behind this. Um, and so periodically I'll just make a new vision board just because it keeps everything fresh in my mind. And visuals are also a really great way to manifest what it is that you want. Whether it be actual things, like a computer or a camera, or whether it be this this feeling of community or something, if you can find pictures that you feel embody that, um, print them off, cut them out, add words, write all over it if you want. Whatever makes it feel like, oh my gosh, if I had all this, this would be amazing. And then I would suggest as much as possible to just take a few minutes just kind of looking at your vision board and then closing your eyes and just kind of envisioning whatever it was that kind of stuck out to you. So like if I look at my vision board, 
So I just looked at my vision board and what stuck out to me was the this uh, hotel in, I don't know where it is, Iceland or somewhere that has this glass dome where you can see the northern lights. That's one thing that st stood out. And then the other was this just road, open road, nothing really fancy about it, and a sunset. And for me, that, that picture kind of signifies road trip and freedom and just openness and expansiveness. And that's something that I want to um, manifest more in my life right now. The vision board, I feel, is the easiest thing to do most fun and I mean everyone can do that I don't know not everyone's gonna say oh I've I don't have 20 minutes to sit down and write fine you don't have 20 minutes to sit down right and you don't have it because you you're not valuing it enough so yeah just make a vision board so a newer thing that I have begun doing it's a suggestion from the book uh, Ask and it is given by Esther and Jerry Hicks uh, teachings from Abraham and it suggests that you get a box doesn't really matter what box and write on it whatever is contained within this box is so I talked about this just ever so slightly in another video but basically it really really works I would say even more so than a vision board in a different way, but in terms of really wanting to create that lifestyle, I would say this actually, to me so far, is working working better than the vision board. So basically, you write down various things that you want, things you want to manifest, uh, feelings, experiences you want to have, and then you just put it in the box. and you don't open it, you don't do anything with it, you just put it in. And the act of putting it in somehow gives you this feeling of, oh my gosh, this is actually going to be my reality. It's going to be how I am living. I just, I've just put it in the box that says whatever is contained this, within this box is. So whatever I just wrote is my experience right now. It's crazy the way it works. And I know a lot of people think this kind of stuff is bogus, but it's it's really not. Um, and until you start experiencing the crazy things that start to happen when you start to really get clear on what it is that you want and you're like, wow, I'm getting everything that I'm wanting right now. How is this happening? Another tool is meditation. And so meditation isn't so much about words. It's more... I would say to do with with getting clear on the feeling that you want to have and not so much necessarily the the things that will give you that feeling or the things you think will give you that feeling. I know when I usually redo a vision board, it's usually after I've sat a while with something and realized that that's actually not really what I'm after. Maybe I'm after the feeling, but whatever it is that I was trying to create in my life, physically manifest, was not a representation of what I really wanted to feel, whatever it was I was, I was truly wanting to attract in my life. One more thing I want to mention was also a suggestion of Esther and Jerry Hicks from Teachings of Abraham, Asking It's Given, that book. So it has to do with money because because I think the majority of people, that is one of their top things that they want to manifest more in their life, if not the top. I think in order to manifest more money, you have to be able to imagine having more money. Like a lot more money, because you know, people will be like, okay, I want half a million in my bank account, or I want to you know, make over a million dollars a year. It's like, can you even imagine having that amount of money? And a lot of times people can't. So part of this exercise is to help you really imagine what it is you would do if you had more money. And so you start on day one and you deposit $1,000 into your account. And that very same day you have to spend all $1,000. It can be at one store or a few different stores. 
Day two, you have 2,000. Day 30, you have 30,000. And you have to spend it all in one day. And some people actually write out checks. To me, that's a little bit, little bit wasteful, but it does make this whole process much more real. And I do think it would probably work better if people did that. So that's totally an option. Or you could maybe get fake checks so you're not wasting like real bank checks. But so the idea is that by by the the 365th day, you're spending $365,000 and throughout that whole year you would you would have spent $66 million. And so people are like, "Oh yeah, that'd be totally easy to spend that much money." But I think what you'll notice, I've just been doing this for a little while now, is that it begins to get much harder than you imagine to spend the money. And so, you know, the first few weeks it's like, psh, no problem, right? You can get, you know, all these cool new electronics, whatever it is that you want, a few more tiny houses in my case, or, you know, a, a few new cars. I mean, sure, yeah. But you're now talking, you know, a 100,000 every single day, it just gets to be so, it's challenging. It's challenging, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not at 100,000 either. I've been doing this a few weeks and it's it's already starting to be like, oh, okay, so I have land right now. I have um, a community space. I have the money to travel wherever I want to go. I have all the electronics that I, I could ever want. Um, it's like, what more do I need? I think that's all I want to say in this video about manifesting. If you have more questions below, feel free to um, comment and ask some questions and I'll answer them. Uh... One other thing I want to say before I end this video, I'm having a sale on my apparel for the next, well, to the end of November. 30% off using the code FRUITFULLY30. Um, this is one of the shirts. I, I'm sure most of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the Be More Badass in Fruit. The Coexist in Fruit. Um, gosh, I'm forgetting. There's an Animal Coexist. There's a Wherever Your Souls Take You shirt with bare footprints all over it. I think that's it. So yeah, it's 30% off till the end of November and the code is fruitfully, fruitfully30. I'll leave everything below in case you guys forget. Feel free to take advantage of that if you want to. I think that's all I want to say. It's been super crazy and I really, really would like to make a comprehensive video about astrology and just kind of trying to come at it from... I'm just trying to... I want to make it clear to everyone else what astrology really is and um, there are so many misconceptions and people think it's crazy stuff and you can believe whatever you want. That doesn't bother me. but. I think with some, some good explanation, I think I could turn a few a few people around. Um, and it's just interesting, I think. So I'm planning on doing a video on that. And then, whew, I'm also traveling soon. And this has become another massively long video. So I'm going to stop giving you an, a life update. And if you want to follow my life, you can go head over to Instagram where I share almost everything. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And... I will see you guys very, very soon. Adios.